What it is, what it do, Z, I'm see Cruz, your boys, Eddie Chung Chung, and we are back again with another banger for you guys today. What kind of banger this is? It's a muck bang! And as you guys can see on the table, we got us a fiesta! Yes, ZCC family, today we're doing birria, let me know if I'm saying it correct, tacos! And I got it from a local spot by me, I'll have to look up the name. Took a lot to set up, but I got a lot. I got the birria beef tacos with the sausage supposed to dip in it. I got the birria noodles, comes with an egg and a corn on the cob. And also I got how to get some street beef tacos with uh, some cheese, cilantro, onions, and avocado. And I got their hottest sauce on the side to go ahead and dip that in. But I see, as you guys can see, I wore some, some festive colors today, the most Mexican thing I had. But um, let's go ahead and get a prayer to thumbnail because I am famished. It is 7.36 and your boy's on the way to Dallas after this meal. Father God, I want to thank you for this food that we're about to receive in our body. And I ask that you do please bless this food. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Let's get a thumbnail. Wow! <laughs> Let's dive in. Let me go ahead and put these up. Honestly, I may have to put my hair up. I feel like, you know, this is sauces and drippity drip drops. So I'm gonna have to put my, my hair up for this one, you guys. But, uber excited. I wanna make sure I got all the, till I hit when that thing hang. All right. Let's start off with the beer here first. We gotta go in. Dip that good. Oh, let's get some of that stuff on top of it. Look at this dip action. Mm -hmm. mm. Good tacos hit. I remember, y'all remember when the craze was for it? Mmm. I remember, I remember Birria tacos, Birria tacos started going viral out of nowhere. Like two years, these probably been around for a minute. I just know the Mukbang community that went viral a couple of years ago. And what it was was a sauce, I believe. It being dipped in that sauce. Oh, I love picking all that stuff up with it. Mm, just a minute. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. I understand why I like it too. I ain't gonna lie. When it comes to the spank food, I'm kind of really basic with it. I like my hard shell, ground beef. With everything on it, cheese, sour cream, lettuce, tomato, pico de gallo, which is tomato, onions, and all that stuff. Uh, with the hottest sauce that they have to offer. And then, I like nachos. That's what it really is, comes down to when I eat my, my Hispanic food. But, Berry and Tacos has uh, made it to the list. Mm. That's good. You know what I'm going to do? I'm gonna let this one go ahead and sit and let that first bite marinate up in there. Alright, I got my street, my street tacos, avocado ground beef, cilantro. This is their hottest sauce that they have to offer. I can't tilt it over, it's orange. You guys will see how orange it is once I get this. Well, I can't dip because all that stuff gonna come out. And the spoon action. Ooh. How does salsa they had to offer? That orange boy. It's called Cry Baby. Let's see what it is. Let's see if it makes me cry. <clears throat> it's spicy. Not Cry Baby though. Uh, my favorite Spanish sauce. When my favorite taco hot sauce I ever had, Peppy Tacos. Let me put this on here. 
And yes, this is just one bite I've drawn with that board. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's it right there. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's good right there. I'll do that. Some of that cry, baby. This place is good. This place is only nine minutes away. I can look at the name for you guys. Cause you know y'all just want to know, especially I be hitting, having people hit me up when they travel to Houston. What's some good spots? All right, let me put real tacos. So I went to Taco Dana Lina, eight seven eight eight Harmony Boulevard. Taco Dana Lia. And I ordered two Joritos and I forgot to grab one. It wasn't their fault. I just forgot to grab them. Only reason why I got a Coke is because I made my mom's be love sauce, so I had to buy a pack of Coke. I only bought a six pack though. But I bought two Joritos. I was going to splurge up, have some Joritos with it. But uh, me being a goofball. I was so excited just to get home and try this. End up losing, uh, not losing, but forgetting my, uh, let's try this out, you guys. Forgetting the uh, Joritos. Let's try this Bria noodle. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's good. Mm -hmm. That's good right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's going to cook perfect. This is great. Let me just with that. Oh, that yolk broke. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Let's go back to the bread right quick. Mm. So far, I think it's tasting great. All this together was $53. I left the tip as well, but $53 before tip. And that also includes two drinks. So. Do keep in mind that includes two drinks with this. And I bought an extra large container of, of the hottest salsa, which is five dollars too. Which I'm sure you guys wouldn't buy if you guys were were there. I mean, either ate there or even took it off. Mm. So this bring up. I finished my something perfect to eat on a cold winter day, especially the noodles. You want to warm up and want some Hispanic food. And I've been craving Hispanic food so crazy lately. Um, last night, I was craving tacos. Couldn't find no tacos anywhere around here. I don't know what's going on in Houston. Y'all need more places open, 24 hours. Houston will be one of the most popular cities in the world, I promise you. In Milwaukee, Wisconsin, there's more late night taco spots open than Houston, Texas. It's pitiful. There are some open, and I had to travel a trap for it. In Milwaukee, I could be in the suburbs and get some tacos late night. I need more 24 hour places. That's just not even just tacos. This is just food, groceries, anything in general. I feel like a lot of things close around 11, 
12 in Houston. Need more 24 hour spots. This is supposed to be Papa, Papa Mecca City. But, um, so I couldn't find nothing. Found a Taco Bell. Opened at 2 a.m. I just got Taco Bell. I know it's not really just random like that. But I was craving tacos. And then also, when I was in Vegas, I had some tacos. I forgot what this place was. It was pretty good too. I had some rice and some homemade crispy hard shells. Really good. Um, this wasn't a fan of their meat, but everything else is pretty good. And now I'm having birria. So I had legit tacos three times in the last four or five days. Four days? It's actually four days. So. I've been on taco street. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna do. I'm had that sit. Had that sit that first bite sitting there. Wait for me. Let me push that up. Then we got one of these. I'm gonna bring these, this taco around for me. Mm -hmm. Ooh, don't fall out now. That's supposed to be a juicy taco. I'm gonna bring this salsa around. Put some of that pep is on there. Put some of that crybaby orange salsa. And let's dig into that first bite. Mmm. That's good. Mmm. I feel like tacos are not really that heavy on me. I feel like it's still a low key, a lightweight meal. Besides the, the breading of it, but mm, they gave me some of these good styles. Mm, I do want to put some, uh, put all the stuff, some meat on there and everything. Take a bite of that because I know that tostadas feel so crispy. you guys and then I'm gonna talk about why your boy ZCC is going to the D Dallas As I heard me say earlier, this is my uh, meal before I actually got to go to Dallas in probably like two, three hours. I know it was late, but um, Houston, I'm not Houston, uh, Snoop is going to run that marathon. I know you guys heard us talk about it a lot uh, lately. And uh, tomorrow's the day. Tomorrow's the day. To go there, run a marathon, and uh, yeah, Snoop's doing a full marathon. I was thinking of doing a, the uh, 5K. <sighs> Only reason I just hacked it for the 5K and going, I ain't gonna lie, they is taxing sixty dollars for you to run. That sounds crazy. Man. I mean, I'm not gonna say. I mean, running smooth and everything. I'm not gonna say I like doing it, but to pay to do it. <laughs> I hope not to me. But I don't know, we'll see. But I was like, uh, I'm gonna still go to Dallas anyway though. But I was talking to another friend. We were thinking about going to Austin, but that ended up falling through. So I'm just go to Dallas and um and see what's out there. I tell y'all, I'm big two nine man. This year I wanna live life to the fullest. A little crazy for my last year in my twenties. And pretty much not say no to anything. Try experiences. That's why I may go ahead and do that run. Try some new experiences. Try new things. 
Don't say no. Do it. You only live once, you know what I mean? I don't think you guys want to shop. This corn is a perfect corn. I love corn. Mm. The flavor of the corn, the cookness of this corn, everything is so perfect about this corn. I love corn on top. Mmm, that's some good corn. But yeah, I wanna go to that. I wanna go see Austin though. I really wish I could went to go see Austin because um, I heard Austin was uh, like the Cali of it, uh, not really, of uh, Texas. Everybody says there's so much nature out there, a huge young crowd, big live scene music, um, lots of bars, lots of culture down there. But also, I heard it is very snooty and things of that sort, but I don't mind that. But, um, so I really, really want to go to Austin. So I'm going to knock that too off the, off the list this year. I lived in Texas this whole time, haven't been to Austin or Dallas. Isn't that crazy, you guys? Mm, no. Haven't been to Austin, Austin, Dallas, or uh, San Antonio. Living in Houston for this long. Mm. I need to see it all before I leave Texas. Yes, you heard me right. Leave Texas. Mm -hmm. I know y'all saying. We heard that before. Are you supposed to be living leaving Texas? About 15 times already. I know, I know, I know. Jet. Right when I'm about to get up out of here. Something keeps reeling me back in. Really, it's the real estate. It's really it. Inconvenience. <laughs> Just because I gotta move my whole life over to a different city. As you guys know, if you guys ever moved to a different state, it's not sweet, it's not easy. I don't know. I have to start a whole new, uh, what is it called? A whole new system out there, get a whole new friend base, fan base, uh, friend base and everything, you know? Ooh, I ain't gonna lie, you guys. I'm super full. This is a heavy meal. I'm thinking this was gonna be something, right? Too. I'm gonna like three of these tacos, three of those, because I can really eat like ten of those. So tip three of those, three of these. And the noodles. I wasn't thinking I was gonna finish the noodles on. Mm. Not even at least some uh, I saw they had these on the menu. It's like what? Grilled jalapenos? I'm actually surprised how much flavor they still got in them. I thought like with grilled jalapeno, was, the spice go away. That one still got some spice and everything nice. And it complements it very well. <laughs> Man. A nice cold jaritos would have been perfect with the sister. Uh, 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 sizzle. I love sizzle with spice. Love it. That's why I love eating. The, the favorite combination, a really nice combination for me, is um, flaming hot Cheetos with Sprite. 
Love Flame Hot Cheetos with Sprite. Let's go ahead and get some of this Bria noodle on top of this. This may be an old TikTok trend, but I've been seeing people do uh, putting hot chips inside of a, like a cutout pickle. I'm like, ooh, that may be good. I'm gonna try that sometime. I might have to try that. Hot chips and a pickle? That sounds good. All right, you guys, I have to stop. I feel like I'm gonna explode a lot. This is a good meal. Definitely. We get this a yes, a go. If you're in Houston, Texas, go check them out. Woo! Very fulfilling. Be the Hughes family. <laughs> what can I Because I eat pretty much a lot of it. <laughs> I just probably now left one taco and a half a burger and some noodles. <laughs> Let me wash this down. And you're thinking, what the heck? We see you drink a Coke, a pink drink, and now a great drink. These are all my leftover drinks that I didn't finish. <laughs> all right, you guys. I'm about to lay this down, digest some of this, and I'll be on the road. Spam this up with, uh, it's gonna be out in time, but spam me up with some stuff that I should have done in Dallas because I'm probably gonna see Dallas again soon. I'm in Texas for. A few more months, so I'm probably gonna go see Dallas. It's not nothing but a four hour drive. Spam me up with stuff I should I should do in Dallas, stuff I should eat in Dallas. Like, what's the touristy stuff in Dallas? I may look up YouTube videos. What are tourist things to do? We're gonna be out there for the whole weekend, so I'm very excited. But ZCC family, make sure you follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and TikTok. All is Eddie Chun Chun. That is Z A D D Y C H U N K C H U N K C H U N K. I hope you guys all enjoyed this meal. And I hope you guys are rocking with your boy, man. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. I will really appreciate it. I don't ask for it much. Once in a while, so I, once in a while, I ask, and now I'm asking. Please subscribe to the channel. But Z C, was it? Oh, I'm tripping. Z C C family, as we all know, the grind never stops until the Z C C gang is on top. Let's get it! I feel like I keep messing up my ZCC. ZCC? Man. I keep on saying like three C's. Is that each other? I'm tripping, y'all. Peace.